Please be mindful of docking bay protocol at all times. Wayland, Utah. Building better world. Any news from Lethe Hayes? Sorry, sir. We're having a hard time reaching anyone. That storm probably... Damn. Must be one hell of a hurricane to cut us from the whole planet. Chief Administrator, I'm showing a weight discrepancy on the Bentonville's manifest. They just asked for a takeoff accreditation, but half the shipment is still at dock. Half, you say? Well, we just earned a bonus. I'll allow them to take off right away. Protocol dictates... How many times? Company protocol doesn't mean anything out here. What works, works. And we're already behind schedule. Director Price... ...isn't here. And if I do recall correctly, Deputy Administrator Hayes, your shift ended half an hour ago. So get the hell off my command deck and let me do my job. I don't care what McDonald says. Something is wrong here. I can monitor the cargo bay camera's security feed just as well from my office. You look troubled, Administrator. 
Is there anything I can do to help? Thank you, Daniel. But no. I'm just having one of those days, you know? Another argument with Administrator McDonald. How did you guess? I may be synthetic, but I'm not blind. Are you sure I can't be of assistance? No. It's my problem, and I'll take care of it. I just need to reach my office. Of course. But I'm afraid this corridor is closed due to maintenance. You'll need to detour through the cafeteria. I heard no one's picking up on the planet. Not even Jackson's landing. Really? I have a friend there. I hope he's okay. <sighs> These bloody... Don't often see you in here, Administrator Hayes. Are you lost? Do you need me to show you to your room? Last I checked, you couldn't find your own ass with both hands. I'll pass. Supply Shuttle Bentonville, secure for launch. All crews, this is your two-minute warning. Shit. Need to hurry. Welcome, Administrator Hayes. What the hell's going on down there? I'll have to take a closer look. Where's Chief Durant? Settling the labor dispute on the rally. Then you'll have to do. Gather a security team and come with me. <laughs> Not a chance. McDonald just linked in. Told us you'd be stirring up trouble. Again. I ain't getting involved. Take it up with him. Thanks for nothing. Way there. Those fucking storage hoppers and base. Supply Shuttle Bentonville is cleared for launch. Remember, all unauthorized breaks taken by non-officer grades will automatically be deducted from leave allowance. be all right cargo they things came out of stay with me stay god damn it keep it together you need to see what's in there
Better take his pistol. No, whatever's in there doesn't know I can't aim for shit. That's the Bentonville. Thing run loose. I need to lock this damn door. There's a welder back there. Time to get it sealed up. Whatever that thing is, can't chew its way through a door. Keep it together, Michael. I thought what I the hell you. was aboard the Bensonville? What are you talking about? The dock crew and Cargo Bay 4 are dead. Dead? That's not funny. Something got loose and killed. <gasps> Power failure. Power failure. Engaging emergency generators. What just happened? to get to security. Ah! What the hell is happening? Everyone's dying in there. Bentonville, I can't let that happen. You let the suspect go to five years safe. Please respond. What's going on over there? Otago? The Colonial Marines. USS Otago, this is Administrator Hayes. There's some kind of infestation aboard. Otago, you have to intercept the Bentonville before it leaves the system. Can you hear me, Otago? Please copy. Is everything all right? Please copy. Damn it! Comms are down. I can't fix him from here. I need to get to the comms room.
Louis? Are you in there? I need access to the comms room. Louis, answer me, damn it! Go away! You're drawn right to us. Open the damn door! No way! It's staying locked to keep those things out! You think that'll help? They're in the vents. Vents? <laughs> <laughs> Alert. Alert. Station integrity compromised. Manning? It's out there. It's waiting for me. Manning, you can't stay here. No, no! It can't see me here. Go away! Go away! Okay! Just keep your head down, right? Daniel, you all right? Deputy Administrator, it appears that these creatures have destroyed our communication system. Why would they do that? They're animals. Sorry, I have no idea. I wish I could help you further. Shit, the Bentonville. I need to stop that ship. Daniel, our planetary quarantine protocols. They're still operational, aren't they? I do believe so, Deputy Administrator. What do I do? Those things have to come from the planet. If even one gets off-world... No, there's no choice. I could stop them. Deputy Administrator, you're only following the Wayland yutani containment procedures. The Cerberus protocol was specifically designed for a situation like this. What you're doing is only right. Right. Yes. Warning, three ships detected. USS Otago, Bentonville, Baldwin. Will be caught in the high orbit interdiction radius. Please confirm command. I am so sorry. Cerberus protocol activated. Purging contaminant vectors. Stand by, stand by. Engaging targets.
We'll cover you. Shut that door! Shut that door! We've lost contact with the Otago. Well, that's just great. I'm Sergeant Harper, USCM. You? Hey, he's, uh, Dep Deputy Administrator. You're from the Otago? Yeah. What the hell was that thing? It was... Everyone's dead. It was on one of the cargo shuttles. All right, people. We're falling back to the dropship. Hunslet, we're rolling to you. Copy. Cerberus protocol in effect. What the fuck is a Cerberus protocol? No clue. Just keep it moving and watch those corners. It's planetary quarantine. Nothing in, nothing out. Sounds like a real party. You okay, Sarge? Eyes ahead. Something's coming. Harper? We've got movement. Manning? Where are you going? It's not safe here! It's not! Damn straight, but we'll get you out. No, you don't understand! It's here! It's here! <laughs> Light it up! Eyes up! That thing's still out there! Take him out! Use a grenade! Eat them! Squirrely bastards, ain't they? We need that elevator! Punch it! Suppressing fire and check your targets! Getting closer! Closer! Wait for my order! Steady! Steady! You? Administrator Hayes, where are you going? We're getting to safety, Daniel. Please, come with us. I'm afraid I can't permit that. Cerberus protocols are in effect. I know, but we can't stay. It's not safe. The protocols are clear. Nothing in, nothing out. I'm sorry, Administrator Hayes. Stand down! 
Quarantine breach in progress. Deadly force authorized. Bring it down! What the hell was that? I... I, I don't know. I've never even heard Daniel raise his voice. Since, man. Creepy little fuckers. Hey, what a mess. Hold still, I'm... Oh, no. What? It's blood is... Some kind of acid. Fuck. What kind of blood type is that? Keep your distance, Marines. Latimer, you fit to move? I'm... Not dying here. All right. Let's get off this damn station. We need Latimer mobile ASAP. I'll break open the med kit. Shit! Ugh. Ah! Ruiz, you're making it worse! Shh, don't be such a baby. There you go. He ain't pretty, but that ship sailed long ago. Gee, thanks. Shit, they're in the walls! Too close! Switch to side arms! Those things are handy for close encounters. Of a time for a migraine. Seriously, Sarge? What's up with you? Move! No! We're in danger! Ah! Sergeant Harper, pull it together! We have to leave! Yeah, yeah, I heard you! Corporal Hunslet, get your ass down here! Hot evac! All right, all right. Air Hunslet inbound. Have your boarding passes ready. Shit! Reading multiple contacts! Closing fast! How many of those things are there? Too many! We have to go! More of them are coming! Hold your position, Marines! Well, don't worry, Hunslet. There's no rush. It's not like we're all gonna die!
Would you look at that? Hell, she's taking a pounding. Otago, this is Harper. Do you copy? Hunsel, can you get us aboard? <laughs> no way, Sarge. Between the debris and the decaying orbit? Death trap. Damn it. At least those platforms are leaving us alone. They are designed for planetary quarantine. But Lethe has to remain operational. Low orbit is considered safe, but beyond that, it's, it's a dead zone. Cerberus will shut down everything attempting to go through in both directions. Cerberus, huh? You seem to know a lot about it. I know everything about it. I'm Pioneer Station. That's my job. Yeah, you know why I decided to turn the Otago into scrap metal? I... I don't know. Systems failure, maybe? You saw the state of the station. Shit, there she goes. Fuck, follow her down, Hunslet. No problem. Fireball like that's hard to miss. Welcome home, Harper. You like what I've done with the place? Martinez! It's good to see you, Sarge. Sergeant Martinez, is it... is your communication system working? It's online, but... we're only picking up static. These colonies sure have a relay problem. But who's asking? Meet Deputy Administrator Hayes from Pioneer. Where's Captain Cochran? There's shit going down on that station like you wouldn't believe. Gone. The whole command staff's gone. You're it. Me? Uh, you made sergeant before I did. You've got seniority. Yeah, sure, but these are the captain's orders, as in the deathbed kind. So this shit's all yours, he insisted. If you want me, I'll be in the armory, seeing what survived the crash. Uh, do that. I have a feeling we're gonna need it. Hayes, you better come with me. Ah, damn. What do we do now? We don't know what is happening on the surface of this planet. McDonald's, my boss, he sure didn't. We have to get in contact with someone if we hope to get out of this mess. I hate to rain on your parade, but the Otago's shithoused. Even if it wasn't, how do we get out past those Cerberus platforms? Well, they'll stop a ship, but not a signal. If we create our own relay, perhaps we could broadcast from low orbit, just in case a ship passes by. You want to create a sort of satellite? We're not a pirate radio station, Deputy Administrator. Or we could contact Pharaoh Spire. Director Price needs to... You heard, to... Martinez. The relays on this rock could be down for good. You want to send a message? Get out and start walking already. There has to be something we can do. Maybe there is. But I'm not seeing it. So you're gonna sit here and do nothing? Like hell. After what happened up there, regs are clear. We're on an alert footing. There could be a hostile biomorph loose on Lethe. So we've got civvies in danger, and no way to contact them, right? What about Otago's short-range frequency receiver? Yeah, that could work. For now. That doesn't solve our broadcasting problem. We have to you warn the people... You find a way we can do that? Then maybe, maybe we can talk about making that happen. Until then, we save everyone we can. We're Marines. That's the job. You want to help? Get familiar with this ship. What's left of it, anyway.
I'm... Administrator Hayes, I know. I don't want to seem unwelcoming, but I don't really have time to talk right now. A lot of Marines are hurting, half my orderlies are dead, and the med bay's being held together with bailing tape. How many casualties are we looking at? Between the platforms and the crash? At 20. And that'll double before the day's out. There's another 10 unaccounted for in Hangar Bay 3, but the doors are decompression sealed, so we know how that'll go. It'll get worse still if I don't get back to it, so if you'll excuse me. Yes, sorry. Sorry. This one's a priority. Understood. Hey, new girl. Sorry, but I'm pretty busy right now. Crash buckled half the support bulkheads. That's all I can do to stop this place caving in. All right, I'll let you get on. Thanks. Need a gun, administrator? Administrator Hayes, I can't tell you how glad I am to see another Wayland yutani face aboard. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Becker. The company assigned me to the ship in order to oversee trials of a new cryo-sleep routine. But I can't see that happening now. Look at the state of my lab. Months of vital research gone. If I at least had power, I could salvage the backups. But these brutes keep ignoring me. Perhaps you could... Sorry, Doctor, but they're not exactly friendly to me, either. It's not about friendly. Who holds higher authority? A Wayland yutani executive or your typical Marine? Where does half the USCM's funding come from? Who provides their weapons, hmm? You might want to push them. I'm sure they'll back down. Thank you, Doctor. You've given me a lot to think about. Well, of course I have. Deputy Administrator Hayes to the bridge. Hayes, please report to the bridge. Stay safe out there. All right. This is what the short-range frequency receiver picked up. It's a distress message from a nearby colony. Oh no. You thinking what I'm thinking? We have to go there. See for ourselves. What? I feel for those people, but we're blind here. If we're to save anyone, we need proper comms. We got them. The Otago, Hunslet's dropship, our vehicles, my marines. They all speak the same language. Courtesy of the USCM comm system. That's not what it's I meant. It's a military decision, Hayes, which means it's my decision. Those folks need help. Fine. What do you need from me? Well, normally I'd lay the squad and an officer would run oversight. You know? Intel, tactical, from the ARC, our armored recon carrier. I can do that, but I need you to handle the rest from here on the Otago. Oh, I thought I wasn't military. Don't I know it. Listen, if I'm gonna keep my people alive, I need someone with smarts for when mine falls short. If it helps, this ain't exactly what I signed on for either. Welcome to the Colonial Marines. <laughs> 